Hey guys, Jaybird and Simo here, and today I'm bringing you my Frost Mage PvP guide part one for patch 6.2.3. And as all my other guides, this will include talents, glyphs, stats, and my macros, and why I use all of them. Alright, let's get into it. For talents, in tier one, I really just use blazing speed. This is important pretty much in any situation getting away from melee or hurrying up and getting away from casters to LOS or catching up to people. Uh, sometimes you could take Evan S though, I don't recommend it, but like in a 2v2 environment, if you're versing double melee or some type of comp that's all bursty and it's gonna be a really quick match, you could take Evan S because you can also cold snap it so you can get six seconds of you know avoiding all attacks against you. But most of the time I would take blazing speed, probably 95% of the time. The second tier, this is the second tier. I use flame glow in 3v3s. Um, in 2v2s, if I'm versing a healer DPS, I might still take flame glow. Other times, I like to take alter time. If you're versing like two people who are very purgy, like will take away your buffs, alter time is going to get thrown away, and so is ice barrier. Uh, so you probably just want to go flame glow. But most of the time, in threes, you'll be going flame glow, but. Alter time is great in 2v2s in my opinion. Okay, the third tier. This depends. If you're versing um, like double melee, you could take Ring of Frost. But I like Frost Jaw. It not only will root a melee, but you can silence a healer or keep a healer locked in, you know, in range. Things like that. Okay, in this tier, Cold Snap's just mandatory. Cauterize is terrible. And Greater Invisibility, it's, it's okay. But Cold Snap... Will either re reset the cooldown on your, on your ice block or Evan S if you do pick Evan S. Because remember, Evan S does replace ice block. And also heals you for 22% 22, 22 of your health. And it can crit. <laughs> it's kind of cool. In this tier, I wouldn't even look at the other two. Ice Nova hits so hard. And you get two charges of it. That's part of your burst. You can't use any of the other two. Or maybe you could. But no, you don't want to. There's so much damage in Ice Nova, and it's instant cast, you just don't want to lose it. The third tier, Encanter slows mandatory. The reason why is Rune of Power, you have to stand in it. Since when does a mage get to stand still in PvP? So that's worthless. Mirror Image doesn't increase your actual damage output, it just you know summons three copies. It can help you perhaps stay alive, because it drops your target on enemies for a second, but I would just take this 100% of the time. Mandatory, and down here at the bottom, I would just say Comet Storm. It's another instant cast to add to your little instant cast burst setup. It's pretty decent damage if all four like hit the person. The only other option could be Prismatic Crystal. You just you summon the crystal and you can attack it and it takes 10% increased damage and hits people within 8 yards. It, it's split among them though. In PvP it's hard to get somebody to stand near a crystal and it's a 1.5 minute cooldown so if you actually mess up where you drop it you just wasted it. And this is only a 30 second cooldown. So Comet Storm I would also say is mandatory. Okay, Glyphs. I like to use Glyphs of, Glyph of Icy Veins. Um, it turns your percent haste into percent multi-strike. It adds to your instant cast burst. For example, let's say you just start the match. You, you get a nice polymorph on, the, on one of the enemies. Time for you to DPS. You pop your Glyph of Icy Veins so you get 30% multi-strike like increase. Pop double Ice Nova, you know, into a freeze on someone, so you get a Fingers of Frost proc. So you use it on your Ice Lance. Then you can use your Frozen Orb, which will give you another Fingers of Frost. You can Ice Lance again. Your Comet Storm. It's just so many opportunities to really benefit from that multi strike, to really add to that burst. Downside is multi strike from the Icy Veins is only good if your Icy Veins doesn't get purged off. It is a magic buff. See? Magic. So unfortunately, if people are watching, which when you get probably above the 1600 rating, people will be getting rid of that as soon as possible. Which makes this glyph worthless. So in that situation, you're just going to have to switch it out for something else. Um, glyph of regener Regenerative Ice. <coughs> this one I like. You, you can get a lot of healing from it. And a Glyph of Polymorph. This one's mandatory in my opinion. <coughs> you always want to keep getting Polymorphs out, and you don't want to have a dot on a target if you can't remove it. Otherwise, you can't polymorph them. Uh, some glyphs to switch out, though. The glyph of blinks kind of cool. You get eight extra yards, so you can really get far away from somebody. Pretty interesting. 
Some people like to use Glypho Deep Freeze. I don't like it. You can use it without it being under global cooldown, but it reduces the duration of the stun by one second. This is mainly for people who are just worried about using Deep Freeze to get their Deep Sheep combo. I'm still not a fan of it. And Rapid Displacement, this is actually an overlooked glyph, but if you're versing a team that has no stuns, which there are some out there, at least in the 2v2 environment, you can take this, so you can run around with two charges of blink. It's actually really awesome. You could also take Glyph of Ice Block, if you don't want the heal, like if you're not worried about it, like if you have a healer perhaps. So you, you'll, you'll shoot out a Frost Nova for the melee, and you'll be immune to all spells for three seconds. Pretty interesting. I still prefer re Regenerative Ice over it though. And then uh, just a minor glyph that, that I really think you need, a glyph of blink, or well, glyph of momentum, let you blink in the direction that you're moving. So you don't always just go straight. This is really helpful when you're kiting left and right and stuff. You really want that. Alright, moving on to stat priority. You want haste as, as frost. You want to get your polymorphs out there as quick as possible. It's probably your, your main role. Of course, this will also let you frost bolt quicker, you get eye shards quicker, but that's, that's a minor thing. It's mainly all about that faster polymorph. So haste, 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 haste. Now macros, may just have a lot of macros. Well, they should. Your, your main goal is really CCing and your on-demand burst. So for CCing, you really want to get a focused polymorph. The reason why is you don't want to have to keep targeting back between who you're killing and who you're sheeping. That's going to lower your damage output and your, like, your, your accurate polymorph times. So you need a focus macro, so you can keep hitting somebody while sheeping somebody else. Same thing for your counter spell. You don't want to have to stop like targeting who you're killing and target the healer. One thing, you're not, you're not going to do as much damage, but there's a good chance you're going to miss that heal too. You need a focus macro for counter spell. And then I would also make a focus macro for your deep freeze. Once again, you don't have to take the time to target a healer. You want to be able to keep DPSing and deep freeze that healer. Stun for 5 seconds, followed up with that polymorph, that good old deep deep sheep combo. And I would even recommend a focus macro for frost jaw. Another thing for a healer, you don't want to take the time to target the healer. Just all sorts of multitasking when it comes to mages. So it makes them so great. You can do a decent damage output while completely locking somebody out of a match. Alright guys, that covers this guide for 6.2.3. And if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, or subscribe. It'll help support me. And I will be making more videos uh, coming up next. Should be my fire video and then Arcane. Alright, thanks guys.